Mm-hmm. Can you see my shirt? It has an at symbol on it. Yeah, that's mine. Oh, it's just Steve with an at symbol on it? Yeah, I figured I'd change the t-shirt. Well, the thing is, a lot of times when I record, <laughs> I don't necessarily have access to the internet. And this way, it's not disconcerting to my viewers if I am uh, like using the default skin. Oh, got it. Okay. So, yeah, that's, well, that's a fun little workaround. Because otherwise, you have to have the internet to show skins. I see you are like some sort of white mage or something. No, I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Oh. well, you, See you... the back? It has the pack symbol on it. Oh, nice. Yeah, I see that. And then the front has the sapling logo. Very cool. Very nice. Yeah, I'm all about the custom skins, Joe Hills. Hey, I'm all about the custom skins, too. I made this <laughs> one myself based on the work of other people. <laughs> so, yep. I see. You're going to have to you're gonna have to excuse me, too, because I'm still sick. Oh, so. I apologize for that. <laughs> no, hey. So Got that con flu. Yep, yep. I've got a room full of signs around me, I see. So, could you yeah. tell me real quick, what is Yeti Craft? Because I've already well, read these, but I don't want to read them aloud, because I'm lazy. Well, Yeti Craft is the server that I run mm-hmm. um, that is full of Yetis. There's a whole storyline in here. I don't want to give too much, because I want you to experience the whole the whole story. Mm-hmm. But essentially, it's a PvP-factioned Minecraft server. Mm-hmm. So... Well, you can That's... take me through the story if if it continues out here. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, here you go. It comes right here. You have been, you've entered a world populated by yetis, but the yeti regime has become corrupt, and its people have become divided. The world split into two factions. So, so the world is populated by yetis. That's like saying, you have entered a world populated by humans. The human regime has become corrupt. <laughs> is that is that like... Sure, I'm, if you just separate the word... You know, if you just substitute the word Yeti for human, then absolutely. So so it's not like, yeah, okay. I don't know if you need the word Yeti <laughs> there the second time is kind of my point. Oh, well, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I've, 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 I've <laughs> I love been, that Joe, Joe comes into the server and the first thing that he does is correct the English. <laughs> I've been correcting, like, maps and schedules all day. Like that, it's hard to get out of here. Doing graphic design work. Destroying don't any of the public it. railroads is a ban. Yeah, okay, I will the strong band hammer, Joe. Okay, so there's Yaoi, which is some sort of anime, and Sasquatch, which is also a type of anime. Um, yetis. They're the types of the yetis. Those are actually real names for yetis around the world. Really? The, yeah. We looked up like different w- things that yetis are called around the world. Okay. This is serious. So, so who is we like, here? Is this you and <laughs> me your husband? and my husband and my brother. Ah. All, all, we all worked on this together. So you can pick two. Um, mm-hmm. I, if we were going to play together, you kind of have to be in the one that I'm in. Okay, which one are you in? I'm in the Sasquai one. Okay, so let's Sasquai okay. it up. Okay, so you want to read about the story? Sure. You narrate it, or are you going to narrate it in your amazing narration oh, okay. voice? The Sasquai were the first to leave the eroding Yeti regime. They are aggressive by nature and felt they could do better on their own. They traveled north and settled. The Sasquai trained their young to be fierce fighters, but heard rumor of the Yowie and became jealous of their advancements. The Sasquai created an army called the Sasquai Front Line to invade the Yowie. You okay? Yeah, is that good? So now you can you can read about the Sasquai or the Sasquai front line. I'm in the back line, so that's who you have to pick. Okay, so so we want to go to the Sasquai. <laughs> I have not given you any options. <laughs> okay, the Sasquai are less eager to fight and would prefer to have left to be left alone. They have found ways to protect their chests and blocks from all factions. They are still vulnerable to combat, but can only lose that which they are holding at the time of their death. Their home is at the very northern tip of the world. Their faction color is light red. Building outside your Sasquai homeland will leave your blocks and chests unprotected. Build in your homeland to protect the advantages of protections. <laughs> protect the advantages. <clears throat> okay. So then there's one more that you can know about. Okay. So essentially what this story is, just to... I don't know if you want to read this whole epic storyline, but basically you have you have three different factions. You have Yaoi, then you have Sasquai, and then you have the Almas, which is this one, right? Okay. The Sasquai and the Yaoi are pretty much the same in terms of block protection. Frontline has absolutely no protection on their blocks, mm-hmm. or on, I'm sorry, on their chests at all. Every all the blocks are protected as long as you build within your homeland. Mm-hmm. Um, but the backline are completely protected 
their chests are protected, but they can't raid other people. Does that make sense? Yeah. If you can raid, you can be raided. That's essentially how it works. And those are the front line. Okay. And then Almas is like they're they're all crazy. They attack each other. They have no um, unity. They have no um, alliance with anybody. They're like on their own. So, so here's the map. So the uh, the Almas can just attack anybody they want. Yep. Okay. Sounds they're good. Fighters. So where does the stairwell go? go? Uh, it's just here, so you can stand up here and read oh. all the signs. I, I was disappointed. I was like, I'm looking forward to going up these stairs and seeing Labyrinth. Just goes, it just goes nowhere. Wow. Yeah, so see this sign down here? Type front slash spawn to reach the spawn castle. So okay. you can hit front slash spawn. Spawn, my favorite Spider-Man villain. Yeah. So here we are in spawn. Okay. Um, are there mobs would... on the server? Yes. Do they spawn in yes. the darkness up here above us and then hop no. down? No. No, they don't spawn anywhere in the spawn area. So you need to choose your faction. Mm -hmm. How do I do so that? We'll do join. Actually, if it's... Slash I'll join. YF join. Like there. There you go. I just type... Oh, you can't see it, can you? I can. YF <laughs> join Sasqua. Mm -hmm. I've successfully yeah. joined the group Sasqua. Yeah. So now you're with me. Yay! Okay. <laughs> so now we need to run. Okay. Well, let's get you some food first. I emptied everything so you and I could start out together. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So what's that little dome there? That's for us to get food and supplies before we start our long trek. To Outstanding. Our yes. This is a trading room over here, by the way. Okay. It's kind of cool. You can walk in here. Mm-hmm. And then... <clears throat> Oh, oh, here you go. You can come in. Okay, thank you. When you stand on the pressure plate, yeah, um, it cuts the water off so you can throw your items in, and then as soon as you step off, it sends it to the person across. So it's like a safe way of trading of like you can see when they've thrown their items in, mm -hmm. and then you step off, and then you'll both get your items. Neat. So no one can cheat you. That's cool. Don't so, cheat me, Joe. I, I won't cheat you. I have literally no <laughs> items to give you. Although I hear there's I free to... rail lines around somewhere for me to pick up. No, those are not free. Those those will result in an instant ban. I will in liberate you... them. They will have freedom. <laughs> in case you forgot the map. There it is again. Yay. So we want to go into the pink area. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to run all the way north, but we need to get some food first. So how long uh, have you guys been running this server? Um, A few months, maybe four or five months. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's, it's still pretty new. We're getting ready to completely redo it, though. Yeah, for 131. Yeah, I think so. Oh, there's a jungle tree in here. That's new. Here, so you can just punch these. All of this respawns automatically, so I don't feel bad about taking as much as you want. Okay, as long as I only take what I need to get started. How many do I need to get started? How far away I is would, this place? I would take a whole stack. Okay. It's pretty far. Cool. We're going to be running for a while, Mr. Joe Hills. Good to know. <laughs> so your Press. viewers can join this server and try to stalk us if we're not careful, right? Yes, they can. Okay. If they can if they can figure out the IP, which isn't very difficult. Yeah. Considering it's posted I, everywhere. I was going to say, you probably advertise <laughs> this somewhere. I do. Yes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and chop down a tree okay. and make us like some basic... Like, maybe a sword and a pickaxe. Okay, sounds good. And then we can figure so, out where we're going to go. I was going to say, there's no, like, stone source in here. We got pumpkins, we got melons. Is there anything else that we can take? Just the trees, I'm guessing. You can take anything in here that you want. Torch. Other than the buildings. Oh, so no torches or whatever. <laughs> uh, I don't think you can take down the torches. Let's find out. No. There's it workbench up here. Yetis don't like it when I bang up their home. <laughs> What's yeah, it? don't do that. Cows take milk as needed. There's no cows in there, are there? No. I'm assuming <laughs> that's a feature. That's a super good feature, yeah. They're invisible cows. Oh, yeah, that, that'll help them, you know, survive the slaughter. <laughs> uh, what else do we need? A pickaxe, a sword, and what else? That should be pretty good, right? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Okay. 
So I gotta uh, find you. Oh, there you are. I'm just jumping around over here. Oh, I see you over by the pumpkins. Okay, ready? Yes. That's yours. And that's yours. Thank you for trading those to me without making me get in a little box. With, oh, you're you know, good. Water. Well, I wasn't expecting anything in return, so really it was just gifting. Yay. Yeah, I'm I'm a good friend like that. The greatest I'll gift just... is giving. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, to me. The greatest joy you can find is bringing joy to others. So, let's see. Now we just kind of head north. Yep. I don't have a, a cart, so we're just going to run along the road. Okay. We're going to do go on the top, though, because we can avoid a lot of the monsters that way. That sounds good to me. I like avoiding a lot of the monsters that way. Me too. I don't like to die. I don't know if you know this about me. Yeah, that's a pretty common response to death. And Is it? The idea of it, good. yes. Many people good. don't like the idea of dying. So, let's see. So, while we're here, have you run me through most of the basics of Yeti Craft? Um... Yeah, pretty much most of them. You'll, you'll. Ooh, sure what's that, that building? That's the library. Ooh, there must be a lot and of also knowledge. Also, the jumping tower. Do you want to go in there and see? What is the jumping tower for? Um, it's just a really high ledge you can jump off of and not die. Oh no. We're, we're thrill seekers here. Oh, I can tell. <laughs> Usually, you get scored on the style in which you fall. Oh, so people will actually grade you. Or maybe I'm just critical of others and I grade them. Oh, okay. <laughs> that might be something I just do to myself. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. You'll also, if you look up to your left, mm -hmm. you'll notice the large bridge. Oh, nice. Where does that go? Um, It goes over to a hill. Eventually that will run completely east and west. Mm -hmm. Um, it, But it's a project still being worked on right now. Gotcha. Yes. So I see that there's no redstone on some of these. They've probably been stolen. <laughs> yeah. Probably. So you can't protect. I have to wield my. Um, they are. They, it should be protected. Um, I don't know why some of them are missing, but they should be protected. I am a moderator and not an admin because I am not trustworthy with these admin commands. Because I know just enough to break things. Yeah, that which is not the amount of, that people want you to know. No, no, no. People have a much higher expectation for the amount of knowledge that I should have. Mm -hmm. Well, now, what gave you the idea to create a PvP faction server like this? Well, because we were playing on a different server that um, had similar kind of rules, um, and it was set up a little bit similar, but we were playing on it and just kept feeling like, ah, oh, there's something missing. And finally, I was like... Both of, both my brother and my husband work in the computer industry, and I was mm -hmm. like, you guys know how to code all this. Like, why don't you just make your own? And they're like, yeah, we could. So then they started working on it, and we started coming up with ideas for factions and how they would work and um, what we wanted to do with, you know, roads and Infrastructure. Kind of I see a lot of buildings out here. Are these just, like, outlying settlements, essentially? Yes. They're, those are new buildings, I think. Gotcha. It's been an abandoned. So we are now into the Sasquatch front, I see. Oh, yep. no, that spider no, has taken an interest in us. I've slain him. Nice job. I do I'll just I let you... I run obliviously. No, that's and fine. <laughs> you're the protector. Yep. That is what that's I your, do. I protect. I, I'm like the sleeve on the floppy disk. <laughs> Does anyone still have a floppy disk? And if they do, do they keep the sleeves? I remember like finding those paper sleeves everywhere and being like, why does this disk have no paper? Do you, you remember that? You, well, you I, I, wasn't, the... I wasn't there when you discovered the paper sleeves, if that's what you're asking. No, but do you I think like, you might have had that experience that yourself. Did you ever have that, that problem, though? Finding paper sleeves and wondering where the disk was? No, because I usually put stuff back where it goes. <laughs> That's just me and my my messy. Yeah, that sounds like a personal mess. problem. <laughs> Probably. But. We're still following the rails. Look at the beautiful sunrise. Yay! I like that little uh, cliff sandstone or sandy thing over there. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. This is a really um, fun map. Oh, I should tell you also, Joe Hills, mm -hmm. that there are um, several temples hidden around the map. Ooh. 
So what happens when you discover the temples is you get money, mm -hmm. um, which can be used. Like if you die, there's um, a feature that we have on the server called Sticky Pockets, mm -hmm. which instead of dying and losing all your items, if you have enough money, you can type. Oh, ow. You can type a command, mm -hmm. and everything that you lost when you died will come back, regardless of how you died. So even if you fell in lava and you had diamonds on you, if you've got enough money, then you can just type the command, and you'll get all your stuff back. So that's pretty cool. So that encourages people to, uh, you know. Be reckless. Yeah. <laughs> well, also yeah. to take chances, which is fun. Yeah. So um, if you, you can discover different temples around the map, mm -hmm. all of which I built. Oh, but, nice. Yeah. So um, you can look for temples all around the map, and um, they also allow you to teleport. Once you've discovered a temple, you can just type in the name of the temple and a command, and you can teleport there. Oh, that's so pretty cool. You can, you can bounce around the map without having to run everywhere, which is really great for the people that play PvP on here because they'll find the temples in their enemy homeland, and then mm -hmm. they'll just teleport there. And then as soon as they want to go home, then they just type front slash home. So it's in the best interest of people to defend the temples in their homeland from invaders as well. From being discovered, yeah, yeah. probably. So could they, like, just cover up the ah, entrance? Joe Hills! Joe Hills, you saved my life, and then you knocked me off this bridge. Hello. Joe Hills. <laughs> Joe Hills, the, the rudest knight ever. You, get... you save your maidens, and then you knock them off the tower. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> I knew you could take it. You, yeah, I'm a tough, I'm tough. Yeah. I'm a big girl, it's okay. Exactly. Now, I knew you had wanted, I wanted to make sure that we had covered all the basics of Yeti Craft before we moved on to our primary topic of discussion for the afternoon. Oh, which um, was what? Remember, we had discussed talking about Pitfalls and Penguins campaigns, because you wanted yes. to put, one, uh, put an adventure together for everybody. Yes. So, before we move on to that, though, is there anything else that I want to know about Yeti Craft? Because I don't um, know what to ask. Cause I have pro a... tip, don't die. Pro tip, don't, don't die. Know. Okay. <laughs> don't die. No, I mean, it's pretty It's pretty much, it's pretty simple. It's pretty vanilla, um, other than some of the stuff. Please don't take from the rails. There's one gone right there. That was you. I no, blame you. that was not me. Oh, no, I'm going to get it into band. There's a water curtain. Ooh. What's it made out of? <laughs> What's your water curtain made out of? So I see there's no rails there because of the water curtain. No, this is still a product. This is still a project in in the works. Gotcha. Yeah. 